All right, we're going to do a profile on this care species right here. Uh, this is what I call the Kalmani swordtail. Um, it's Zaphophorus Kalmani or Kalmani. Uh, common names I have heard on it are the brass swordtail, the bronze swordtail, or the copper swordtail. Trying to get the best lighting for you so you can see it. Um, there's the male there, the female, this one there, and then I don't know if you can make out, I don't know if I'm focus or not on, uh, there's some fry swimming around in there. Uh, this is in my 38 gallon, and I've not got it very well decorated or anything right now. The uh, I have a little substrate just in the form of some random gravel and then some artificial plants of different types. Uh, this tank here, I'm running a, a Penguin Bio Wheel 250 as the primary form of filtration and the uh, tank has no heater it's currently just running ambient temperature of whatever the room is and let's check that real quick it's probably going to be um, mid upper 70s and I like to check temperature three or four different places um, just because if I miss misjudge and check a temperature and it reads 80. I might have got a reflection off of a, um, a lot or something like that. Um, but this one's reading about 75 degrees. And uh, the Zophophorus Kalmani, or Zophophorus Kalmani, I'm not sure how its uh, best pronun pronunciation is, is. Uh, A Paris fish that was as recently named as 2003 comes from a lake in Mexico and I don't want to mispronounce it so I will uh, pop it up here on the screen uh, they like Temperature between 74 and 78 degrees Fahrenheit. The females get larger than the males slightly. They can get up to five, maybe six inches full grown. They um, like a little harder of water. Probably a pH of uh, 7.4 to 8, somewhere in there. As you can tell, they're uh, well. They're doing a lot better today than they have the whole time I've had them so far. Um, they're still a very wild type of fish in that they're fairly shy. They like to hide. Uh, don't come out much until you know I put a camera on them. Apparently, um, this is the most activity I've had out of these fish since since I got them. Uh, probably three or four months ago but they are real strong swimmers good jumpers um, like all sort tails so you'll want a lid on the tank of some sort I currently don't have a lid that fits this tank so I've pieced two lids together to um, cover the top I do have some bristlenose plecos in here that uh, just kind of do their thing. This female gave birth um, about um, 12 days ago, my best guess. 
So these little fry are going on two weeks old. The Kalmani uh, Sortel here, it uh, resembles quite a bit the Hellera and had, was collected before 2003 and put in the pet trade as Hellerize and it was only reclassified in 2003 as its own species. And like a lot of fish in its area there of Mexico, um, it is considered in need of our help. So I am happy that I am breeding it. I have the fry that's in here, and I have another batch of fry over in a 10 gallon tank over on my, my 10 gallon rack over there. And I know a lot of people will probably get upset about me having artificial plants and no substrate and all that in this tank. But my philosophy is to make do with what you have, uh, why you can, until you can do better. So this tank, the background I have on it was one that was given to me. So that's free. All of these artificial plants were free. So until I can get some live plants to put in there, uh, these are giving cover and reducing the stress on the fish. I, I'm a believer in substrate, so what little substrate I can get, uh, this substrate that I have in there was also free, and it's just a little bit that I have um, of this top, and the added substrate will add uh, surface area for biological bacteria or biological filtration of the form of bacteria in addition to the bio wheel up there I have one male and one female of the adults in this tank and that's really all it takes to have fry give them some cover the adults might prey on the fry if they aren't given enough cover. But with these plants in here, the fry can get out of the way. And once they grow a little bit, then the parents won't bother them. Of course, I keep the, the fish well fed. They're getting a variety of different foods. Um, I suggest giving them a... a variety of foods like I said live food um, in the form of the different types of worms like white worms water worms um, even Daphnia brine shrimp they do frozen they'll take flake and they'll take uh, granules a variety of different different foods they're omnivores so they'll eat both uh, plant matter like spirulina and the proteins and I enjoy these fish like I said they they haven't been very active at all um, been a wild type but I guess they're locking the camera or they're ready for their food they're out today If you'd like more information on the uh, Kalmani swords, just leave me a comment. Uh, shoot me an email. Email's in the, in my uh, not the description, the about page. The about tab has my email in it, and uh, I'll try to answer any questions that I can. They're getting anxious for some food, I think is what it is, so I need to feed them and uh, 
Yeah, until next time, give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. If there's a care species you want me to do a profile on, let me know in the comments. I plan on making this a series. And um, if you haven't subscribed, I've got more of these coming. So hit the subscription button and the little notification bell. It'll let you know whenever I've uploaded. And we'll see you next time.